Okay, mom, mom, mom. All right, I got, I gotta go. All right, tell grandma I'll pick her up at four thirty. All right. Okay, I gotta go. Bye. Hi there. In this foam drum challenge, you're gonna learn all about remote sensing. As an engineer for the day, your team will build a model drone to help solve the problem or improve the community situation that you created in the previous activity. Choose your drone adventure. Remember, this is all about learning from a distance. And in this activity, it will include a platform, your glider, and a sensor, your keychain camera, that can collect data from a target that your team can review on a computer. So just try and try again. That's all part of the engineering design process so you can improve your success rate. Here are a few tips. You can use the adhesives found in your kit to figure out how and where to attach the sensor to the plane. You may need to use a few pennies as a counterweight and consider alternate flight paths. Now, it's data time. Yeah, I do make a great looking target, but you don't have to use me. You can just find something around the house like masking tape and make a big X on the ground. As long as the keychain camera can identify the object that's flying over, you'll be well on your way to capturing your first set of data. So now, take your keychain camera, plug it into your computer, and analyze your results. Let's take a look at how to do that right now. Now you can take the camera off the plane, plug in the USB cord into the camera, and the other side of the USB into your computer. You'll see the files pop up, and you'll want to open the DCIM file. From there, open the file that says 100 Media. These are your videos. If you took any photos, you can click this photo file. When you open the 100 Media file, you'll see all the videos that you took, and these represent your results. You'll want to take these videos and drag them to your desktop like so, so that they open a little bit faster. After the file is downloaded to your desktop, choose the file that you want to play first. You can do that by right-clicking on the file and clicking the third option that says Play with Windows Media Player. After you choose that, you'll see your video load and start to play. Find the part of the video clip that flies over the target that you chose and watch it again. Here I'm going to queue it up to the nine second mark. I can see the target right in the middle of the screen. So I'm gonna pause the video and try to take a closer look. I'll back up the marker to nine seconds and I'm gonna play this in slow motion. To do that, right click on the video screen, choose enhancements, then choose play speed settings. And on the top left of the screen, choose the slow option. That'll play your video in slow motion. To play your video fast again, you could choose normal or fast. You wanna close out this option, go back to hit the play button, and watch it again in slow motion. Now it's time to analyze. So was your video the right side up? Are you happy with the results? And most importantly, was your target captured in the video? What adjustments need to be made to the glider or the arrangement of your camera? So think about this with your team. How does flight pattern and speed affect the data collected by the drone sensor? What you can do next is ask your teammates what changes you might want to make to better control the flight of your drone, and what changes you might make to collect more accurate information about your target. And once you have the footage you like, you and your teammates can show off your results to your friends, present the video to the other teams, and collect some more feedback. Good luck.